Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting because I'm presenting another tutorial. A lot of people always ask when I'm gonna do more tutorials. And so today's the day that I present a new tutorial, a new Adobe Premiere tutorial. This tutorial is gonna be super quick. It's showing off one of my favorite effects that I've done in a couple of my client videos. Um, it's super quick, super uh, easy. And I just really love using this effect whenever I can. Um, but as you can see, it's it's no name for it, but I just call it the clip and layer effect because as you can see, it's one clip or you can use multiple clips and you're just layering the clips on top of each other. So I just call it the clip and layer effect. And these are some of my clients that I've done this effect for. And so we're just going to uh, get started. So there are a couple of ways that you can use this effect. It doesn't always have to be the exact same. As you can see, I've used it in different ways. And so I wanna show you guys a couple of different ways that you can use this effect to add a little spice into your videos. And so the first one is, uh, we're gonna do it super, super quick. We'll drag over the clip that we want. So let's say this is the clip that you want to use to create this effect. The first thing you do is you're gonna always duplicate the clip. Now you can duplicate it however many times you want, but for the first effect, you're gonna duplicate the clip one time. And so with that, there's two ways to duplicate in Premiere. The first way, of course, is to go to the head of the clip. You copy it, you go to the track that you want the clip to eventually copy onto, and you hit Command V. That's the first way to duplicate. And so now, as you can see, you have both clips. The second way to du duplicate is to click on the clip that you want to duplicate, and this is the shortcut. You hit Option, and then you drag the clip upward. That duplicates your clip. And so, after you duplicate your clip, as you see, we have two clips. They're the same clip. They're titled the same thing. Um, you go to the top clip, and you just go to your scale, and you just scale it down. That's how you create the first way to use this effect. One clip on top, one clip on the bottom, and boom, you have a simple effect. The next way to use this effect is, um, what, how I mostly use this effect is, let's say I'm going to go to my footage and you just find what you wanna use. Once you find the parts of your clip that you wanna use, you drag it down to your, um, your premiere, you duplicate the clip, I usually duplicate, duplicate about four times. And then you start from the top and you start to scale, scale down each clip until, the, until you can see each and every one. So now you have this super cool effect and I even bump it up a little more and I create transitions to come in and come out. And to do that, I just go to the beginning of my clip and I change, I cut frames and I have them start at different times. Then I go to the end and I do the same exact thing so that it can um, come out of this effect. So let's say you had this effect on your clip and then you added the next clip. And you created a super short sequence. This is how it will look. And then basically that coming out will go into your next clip. So you just created a transition with this effect. So I love this. And again, you don't have to do it with four. You can do it with three. Um, you don't have to do them that small. You can actually just, you know, make them to where you see a lot more of it. You can really play with this and do it how you want. And then the last way that I wanna show you guys is we're going to, you can take the same clip Say we have this clip, we took the same clip, and we want to put, we're gonna duplicate it two more times, and the middle clip, we're actually going to flip it. So we're gonna type in flip in our effects, we're gonna horizontal flip, and so now, as we scale the front down, you see the clip, and you see that it's horizontal, so if you turn off the tracks on top, this is the first clip that we have, and we flipped it, and now we're back to the first. And that's your three, and so you have this like cool little effect. 
and it, it creates like a border around your clip because of the flip, it looks like a border. And you can also do this with different footage. So let's say you wanted the middle to look be completely different or you wanted the top clip to be completely different. We could do it to where the top was. So now you have different clips. And so yes, this effect is super simple, super easy. We literally just made three different ways that we could use this clip. Um, there are more ways as well to use this clip. And just want you guys to just continue to create, continue to get into editing, continue to learn. But I hope this helped uh, you guys. I know a lot of people ask me about this effect. All it's about is scaling the clips, using the same clips or using different clips, but it's really just about scaling. It's ways to be creative. You don't have to do the most. You can really find the most simplest ways to create something beautiful. Um, and so this is all I have for today. I hope this helped you guys. I hope this was a fun tutorial. Um, again, it's super simple, super easy. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this video, hit a like. Also make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I wanna reach a thousand subscribers before I start releasing more content. And so if you guys tell your friends, subscribe to this channel so that when, when I hit, I can just start releasing you guys all the things that I wanna do for you all. Um, make sure that you share with a friend and I will see you guys soon. So have a good day.